Hey, you alright guys? Welcome back to another video review and today I'll be reviewing something really awesome that I have been looking forward to getting in a long time now. Is the Sasuke Uchiha from the Naruto Shippuden anime series SH Figure Arts figurine. Now this came out in January this year. So it's rather newish but it came out this year so I class it as newish still. And uh, yeah, this is a very very cool Figure Arts figurine. So what I'm going to do now guys is give you once over on the box and then I will show you the actual figurine and accessories it comes with. So starting off with the box now we have the usual um, companies that are involved here. Obviously it's been manufactured by Bandai and you've got um, Tamashi Nations there with it and you have uh, just some uh, Japanese writing here. It says they're obviously ages and 15 and up which is obviously um, quite important to uh, take into consideration if you're buying this for a small child or your son or daughter and they're not really familiar with the dangers of these sort of figurines where they can sort of swallow these parts so definitely uh, take heed to these warnings because they're very dangerous if uh, your grandson you know any sibling that's obviously underage doesn't realize the uh, dangers so anyway um, looking at the actual box itself I do love the artwork here and the way they're portraying the figurine um, obviously on top here you've got the uh, SH Figure Arts logo on there and uh, yeah I do love the red orange it's in the right hand bottom side of the background and you've got an awesome pose there of Sasuke on the left moving it on to the side it's just basically got um, Sasuke's name with the Ochuha crest at the side there uh, you've got SH Figure Arts on the back there and on the other side you've got a pose of Sasuke doing his Chidori there, signature move. Um, on the back, it shows you more various options of where you can pose him, whatnot. Um, let's get a zoom on that. Just to see you guys. So yeah, it says there's simple style and her yeah heroic action. Can you say that word then? I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, this has got some great um, styles you can have them in. I've got them in a rather unique pose as usual, always try and make it different. And as you can see there, if you zoom up, um, you can see the different um, facial expressions that Sasuke has with him. That you can um, have him with. So, yeah. On the top is basically the SH Figure Arts logo. And on the bottom, which is quite important to remember, is this was imported from uh, Europe so this is a group called the Cosmic Group which I'm not very familiar with but basically what they're saying is this is official and let's get a good clear up there and they're basically saying yeah that we imported it from the uh, Japan and all that so yeah um, obviously when you buy an SH figure arts you get the important essentials which you should be looking for when you buy these is the actual official packaging from the SH figure arts line from Bandai and Tamashii Nations. Um, when you don't see them with these, be a bit cautious because they're supposed to come with these. They are official, so definitely look out for them. And obviously, it comes with a manual as well on how to put Sasuke together and change his parts. So yeah, very important factors there when you're looking for an official product from the SH Figure Arts line. So guys, without further ado, let's get on the actual figurine. So now we have Sasuke out of his boxing and packaging and I have assembled all the essential parts that you guys need to know what comes with him and as you can see I've put him in a rather unique pose rather than following the box and what he's telling you what pose you should put him in. So what I've got here is Sasuke pulling his Chidori out, his signature move and ready to attack with his sword from behind which is a rather cool pose I thought um, with a stance there ready to attack. Um, so. The one thing I do love about this figure is the detail and quality that they deliver with normally in general in this H Figure Arts line. Uh, they deliver great quality and obviously the main factor about these figurines is the articulation. So on the bottom here, if I just uh, guide you guys down here, you've got um he comes with two sort of swords. He comes with a sword that's fully um, covered up, which is here. Just zoom and show you guys that. Um, this is, you can't open it, it says it is just like a sword in its holder, so that's the way it is. And obviously the one that Sasuke is holding is um, in his hand. So as you can see here, he has got so many different types of 
the way you can portray the way he moves, like the way he looks and everything with so many different um, hands here you can choose from. Um, he only has two face plates, the one he's equipped with that I've put him on and this one here which is sort of a shouting, sort of a charging pose face expression and he has another sort of hair here I'll show you a little bit like that yeah which is another sort of a down wet sort of a wet look rather than a spiky up look um, so yeah that's the only accessories he comes with obviously he comes with his, his Chidori that's not on him when you uh, get him out of the box he comes with a basic hand um, but going on the detail of him he is absolutely stunning I do love Sasuke he's one of my favorite characters from the anime series and he is such a badass so what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to give you a 360 view of Sasuke so you can see what he looks like and you can see the details that was put into him how well they've done him I can see there how well the Chidori has been placed it's very simple to put his uh, Chidori on his hand it's basically just insert it in his uh, sort of um, open palmed hand which is really rather easy as you can see I've got Sasuke's um, sword obviously outside of the holder there and you can actually strap it in the uh, part of his attire there which is really cool really is a great figurine and yeah you can pretty much pose him any way you want on the style you think is cool or whatever selection you choose when you buy this figurine but yeah this is a fantastic figurine Got the Uchiha crest there on the back, which is a basic signature attire that he wears throughout the series. So, yeah. I'll just stop it now. So, yeah, the articulation is very good. I'll show you quickly the articulation. So, as you can see, um, the Chidori comes off relatively easy, you just wiggle it off, just try and get it off. So you pull it in uh, one of these hands here, where his hand is uh, open like a palm like this, and you just basically insert it in a certain way where it fits obviously, and then voila. There's like a mould of the same sort of hand in there, and voila, it's in there. And obviously, I love in the sword here. It is fantastic, fantastic articulation. You can move his torso to certain degrees. The only thing I'd say a negative about this figurine is the the way it stands. I wouldn't recommend him stand on his own. He can stand on his own quite well, but when it comes to like standing him on his own on a shelf that's slightly uneven or something that's like not quite properly stable then there is definitely even the slightest bit of wind for example <sighs> will sometimes knock him over but I've obviously placed him in a certain position where he's not going to do that but yeah the uh, the figure is stable at all times except for when certain positions you've got to place his uh, weight correctly because he's uh, got a bit of weight to certain areas and it sort of makes it unbalanced at times but apart from that he's a fantastic figure and De definitely don't let that dis persuade you from uh, not getting this figure because this figure is well worth getting and for any Naruto fan out there this is definitely worth getting um, I've yet to actually buy and purchase the um, Naruto version of this so I can actually have it in a sort of pose where they're both fighting each other which would be really cool which I'll probably do in the future I see it cheap enough online or a convention I go to. So yeah, well that's it guys, thanks for watching this review. Hope you enjoyed and learned a few things. Um, as far as bootlegs go on this item, I don't know if there's one out particularly on this one because I haven't seen it. Um, there isn't any sites that I know that have indicated any uh, bootlegs, but just in case guys, look at the uh, signs that I spotted out that it's official on the, early on in this review, just to be on the safe side. Alright guys, so that's about it. Thank you for watching. Um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this awesome uh, Naruto anime figurine. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this review. And please subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon.